Hi everybody, my name is Alberto Chisal and in this video I am going to show a town that has a lot of pirayas. This pound was created by the local people because they want to clean the area. That part used to be with a lot of trash. So now in these days this pound it's supposed that it's clean and has life. For example, they used to put a lot of guppies, platies, mollies and swordfish. But one guy, one day put a piranha in that pound. So in this video, I am going to show how a piranha can destroy the whole ecosystem if that piranha is not in his natural habit my intention with this video guys is let let you know what happened when somebody put a fish that is not from the area in a different place for example this piranha has been eating all the fishing and a few people from the community told me that that piranha has eat several cats that they that they fell down in the pound and was one dog dead. So let's see how this piranha has been doing. And please don't put in freedom fish that you buy in the pet store because you never know where they are come from. We arrived to the pound. We are in Merida, Yucatan, and I, I am not going to say exactly where I am because I want to protect this little pound. This pound is 26 meters long, 7 meters wide, and 10 meters deep. So we are going to try to find the piranha. So in this pound you can find Plecostomus, Goopies, platies, swordfish, and a huge piranha. So let's try and see if we have good luck to see the piranha. And you are going to see that the water is completely clear. This pound has no has no machine for clean the water. The water get cleaned by all these plants that is in that is in this pound. But we can see that the pound is dirty because for all the plants that fell down inside of the water. So let's try to see where is the piranha. And if we found another huge fish, we are going to record in the video we need to remember that in this place have died a lot of cats that fell down in this pound because for the piranha the good thing is is only one piranha it will be really bad if it's, if it's more than six piranhas because if it's more than six piranhas they can eat something really fast and it's more dangerous for the human or somebody that fell down in this pound we have not have any good luck in this moment we have only seen a huge tilapia but that is all we we can see clearly that it's time for dinner because a, a lot of fish they are moving in this pound so let's hope and the piranha is here near to us so let's continue with the looking with the searching for the piranha we found the piranha finally we can see that it's a huge pacu okay so this is not a piranha from the river amazons this is a pacu so we can see that the pacu has an infection because she was in a fight I get 
We need to make sure where we are going to get swim because we never know if that pound if it's natural or artificially which type of fishes are inside because we never know the people that lives near the people that lives near to the area maybe they are going to put in freedom a few fish and it's dangerous if they put a uh, aggressive fish like this but we have luck that is only one but yes i can imagine the poor cat that fell down a few weeks ago that cat was really bad so now it's time for the food for the piranha but we can see that in this part is not too deep and because it's not it's not too deep the charales stay here so the big fish they need to come out from the deep area and they are going to eat because if this piranha is too big we can see that it's not swimming in a good position we can see that is in a different position and we can see that the piranha has a bruise if you like this video please give me a thumbs up like and share and subscribe to this channel we are going to put new content every week we normally have a videos in spanish so please follow us in spanish if you know spanish or if you don't know spanish and it, and if you want to support us only give me a like and share this video